Hello! Guess how long it's been since I've done this one, eh? This is Batman the Superhero, back for some a very long you do. Yu-Gi-Oh! Destiny War Traveler. Whoa, what? Oh right! I switched my select uh start and select buttons, that's why it's acting all funny. So, thanks to Mega Metal Gamer for getting me back into doing this, because he's been leaving comments on all my videos and it's amazing and I love him for it. Anyway, I believe we're still uh with the Dark Magician Girl, if I do so recall. It's been a little while. And... What in the hell? I think I forgot to put my cheats on. <laughs> Whoops! Well, that was embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's six. No, 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 that's eight. Alright, okay, that's six. There we go. No, it's seven. We're on seven. What am I talking- God damn it, sorry, this is completely failed. Anyway, we're on seven maps today, if I'm correct. Let's go down to the park. Uh, I'm just gonna pick a whole bunch at random. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Thank you. Where's the puzzle? I want that one too. Thank you. The desert? No, we do not have the desert on there. One more. Hmm. Let's take them. Uh, let's take the pier. Let's do it. Lictigal. 72 victory stars. Let's do it. Haha. <laughs> We've been through this already. You know what? You know the plan. Oh, he's back. Shit, he's back. Fuck. Alright, we got Yami Bakura, Yami Yugi, and Grandpa in this set. How great is that, boys? Anyway, what are you doing, Bakura? What are you throwing at us? A enchanting mermaid. Sounds good. Man, you know what? I've been having a kick-ass time lately. Yes, and I have tea. I'm taking a sip of it. I mean, just, you know what? It's been great. I've been recording... Pardon me, sorry. Recording Mario, and it's been awesome, and I've got five sets. And it's rings! Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to talk about at the moment. <laughs> but, okay, okay, I'll continue my spiel in a moment. Let's see what we got over here. Actually, hold on. What am I doing? I don't think there's any maps we... What am I... Oh, fuck! I don't think there's any maps we haven't seen. So yeah, we're all good. So let's get to it. Set on dice. Uh, the one? Yep. The two. The no. The two. Again! It's like Inception! Anyway, uh, but you know what, I'll throw the fours on there if we warp out of here. Why not? No problem with that. Let's roll them. No, we got even six. Good, good. And... Yep. There we go. Oh, level four. Fancy that. Fancy that. Oh! It's not a warp? Are you fucking shitting me? Okay, whatever. I'll take the extra life points. I got no problem with that. Get out of here, you... you what are you doing? Well, okay, I guess that that's an intelligent roll. If you want a warp, that is. But hey, I'm not him. And now Grandpa's coming to visit me in Domino Park. And it's back to Yami Bakura once more! Not a kitty. Just, you know, thought I'd throw it out there. And you know, in the, like, literally within the past, like, half an hour of me recording this, I've, I've had 11 comments on my videos, and when I haven't had more than three in the past four months. Or I don't even think I've been on online for that, for that long, but in the past couple months, right? And, you know what, it means a lot to me. I mean, I've only got three subscribers. But, you know, it means a lot to me, guys, to have you guys commenting on my videos and just making me feel like like, like, I'm, like I'm wanted. Like someone's actually enjoying what I'm doing and I'm not just sitting here talking to myself. And, you know, it really means a lot to me. It really does. Okay, okay, let's check this time to see. That's okay. As much as I love the life points, I'd like to make some progress on the board. Okay, two. And it's a two. And... Oh, well, I guess we're only rolling... What the hell am I doing? God damn it, I'm forgetting how this game works. I haven't played it in a month, I'm forgetting how to do it. Okay. I only got three on the dice, but let's hope. Oh. Okay, whatever. I ain't in a hurry. I'm too chill. Oh, by the way, in this game, I'm gonna be cursing at this spiky head bastard. Undoubtedly. Yes. I just... It means a lot to me. I mean... It's just, it does. I can't even think of anything else to say. It means a lot to me that there are people commenting on my videos and people wa actually watching my videos. I mean, the first set of this, this Let's Play, this side Let's Play of Destiny Boy Traveler has over 30 views on it. And I mean, well, that doesn't sound like a lot. A week ago, it only had 10. And I just, it means a lot to me. I love this feeling that I'm actually, someone's actually enjoying what I'm doing and I'm not just doing this for the hell of it. I mean, that, I mean, this is why I started Let's Playing, was because of how much fun it is. I mean, I've watched Halloween 4 or 5, 4 or 5's Let's Plays, and 
Trevor Conroy and Nintendo Capri Sun. And I mean, and they always seem to enjoy what they're doing, and they enjoy putting videos out on the internet for people to watch and for people to enjoy, and they love what they're doing. And I've always thought that that's a very really amazing thing. That it's that it's just so much greatness comes from giving other people happiness by commenting on a video, commenting on a video game, right? And I just I love it. It feels so so good to feel wanted, and it's just it just makes me feel awesome, guys. I can't describe it any more than I am. Well, I sipped my green tea, my bitter green tea, but you know, whatever, it's all good. <laughs> I didn't bring any sugar downstairs, so, you know, I can live without sugar, so I have too much of it in the first place. Okay, level one, Magician of Faith. That card is banned, actually. No, 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 no. Oh, I do believe the Magician of Faith is banned. Um, a couple of weeks ago, my, what, why do I keep clicking that button? My, a couple, my buddies and I were uh, making up Yu-Gi-Oh decks offline, like combining a whole bunch of the different generation cards, and, uh... We're looking at it. Oh, what? Another. Ru oh. And I believe the. I do believe the Magician of Faith is a banned card now. Acqu uh, according to Zelda Wiki, I do believe I looked it up on. Or not Zelda. Yeah, Zelda Wiki. I looked up Yu Gi Oh cards on Zelda Wikipedia. Huh. No, on Yu Gi Oh Wiki. <laughs> Sorry. Zelda Wiki. Oh my god. Sorry, I was just thinking that because I was looking up abbreviations for Zelda, Zelda games on Zelda Wiki. So that's kind of why I got a little. on that one. But, you know, it's all good. Good, you're taking the damage, you dumbass, for not rolling anything decent. Fucker. Fucking idiot. It's different, like, m like Mega Metal Gamer pointed out. If they're rolling and they have high cards that they uh, they don't want they don't want to tribute for their summon, different story. But he doesn't have anything on the fucking board. <laughs> That's just dumb. Fuck. Okay, Grandpa, what you doing for us? Yeah, the miss and yes. Oh man, a psyched for another two hour recording. <laughs> no man. It was easy on the first couple boards where I only recorded like half an hour, but I don't know if I I don't quite remember, but if I remember if I can somehow recall my last recording, my uh, six board set was like two and a half hours. <laughs> oh man. And because it was four sets and a half hour and a half hour segment, so yes, two hours are there. And like, long ass time, and it's even longer lo longer 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 to edit. But I, uh, I'm not going to record any more Mario because my internet was down until I get my next two sets up on the internet. So I can I have time to edit this and render it and just fuck around because, I mean, it's summertime. I got nothing to do. I have no problem recording this for you guys. I can, oh, I got a superpower? Hmm. I don't know if I should use it, though, because... I mean, I don't have, my, I don't have anything on the board and my, chan and my chances of getting on the board at this point are slim. Hmm. I think I'll save that for now. Actually, I'm going to do replays. Until I get um, on the board where I have more chances of rolling. <coughs> pa oh! <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. <coughs> Until I have more chances of uh, rolling, a, rolling a fighting phase. Because, I mean, like, I mean, I, I mean, bleh, bleh. I got no problem taking life points, but I'd rather go get on the board at this point. And I've only got four cards to put me on the board, then I'm gonna have to wait. And going. And, oh man, three in a row! Fuck. Because, I mean, my chances aren't going to change if I roll a 4 and just go to the other corner. I mean, it's not going to get me any closer to getting on the board. And, I mean, I've got the most life points at everybody. I'm not too, too worried about it. I mean, I'm losing at the moment. Oh, you actually summoned something. <clears throat> Good for you. What that you got for us? Oh, he's summoning the Dark Magician Girl. He's summoning the Dark Magician Girl. You bastard. I hate you so much. For actually, no, I don't. I think that's really funny. Ha ha. It's not going to do anything because it's going to kick her ass. Kick that creeped ass, but, you know, whatever. What'd I tell ya? 700 point difference. Na 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 na. It wasn't like me rolling three different Dark Magicians, in, or four Dark Magicians in one turn, but I had... The first first set with the Dark Magician Girl, I had two, two Dark Magician Girls, Dark Magician Girl, and the Dark Magician. Like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, by the way, this is kind of random, but between the last set and this set, I decided that the Dark Magician is my spirit animal. I just wanted to say that, because I love the Dark Magician. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Yup. I know that kind of doesn't make sense because the Dark Magician's a man and the spirit animal, you know, might actually make sense to call it, you know, an animal of some kind. But the Dark Magician's my spirit animal and that's how it's gonna be. Here we go, pour myself more tea while I run through this floor here. Yeah. There we go! Alright, 
that, boys? Grandpa's on the board. Well, or let's parkour out our grandpa. What the hell am I was talking to grandpa? Whoopsie doodles. Okay, can I actually roll something now? Level 8. Oh man. Stop giving me these high level cards, please. I need to get on the board. No, 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 it's level 4. Hold on. Uh, level 1, roll it. Level 2, yeah. Level 4, level 2. You know what? Fuck. If, if I'm gonna be running around the board, I might as well get. Cold. You know what? Fuck it. Just. Fuck it at this point. <laughs> Forget everything I just said about not my chances not changing over there. If I'm if I'm just gonna sit here and roll all day, I might as well get life points for it. <laughs> okay. See what I tell you. I mean, I just roll a four, but whatever. If I roll a four next time, I'll warp out of here, and that really won't change much. But it's something, I suppose. Why are you scowling all the time, you cocky bastard? Man, speaking of Yu-Gi-Oh and he, him, he and him scowling, I if. I know I didn't really mention it much, well actually I think I did, I don't quite remember, about me watching the Yu-Gi-Oh anime. Well, I uh, I finished the Noah arc, and then I watched, and then I watched, and then I, wait well, yeah, I watched, what the hell am I thinking? I was thinking Red, because I was reading the manga at the time too. I watched the uh, the Kaiba, the Yu-Gi semi-final in the Battle City, and after that I just gave up. I couldn't take the complete bullshit that the anime is. I mean, I love the anime, the, I mean, I love Dan Green, he's an amazing voice actor, and I love Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, he's 70. Thanks, Grandpa. Thanks for that. And I just, I love, I love him. He's great. I love the, I love the anime. I love the series. I love it. But the anime is such bullshit compared to the manga. I just can't even. Uh, uh, because it's just, they changed so much shit, and I was raging the whole time. Because, I mean, granted, I could stand to be a little more lenient on this, but it's, it's like me and any book that goes to movie or or manga that goes to anime. The, the little things they change bother me. It's like Harry Potter. I could rant all day about the shit they changed in Harry Potter and how, how much I hate it because of it. I mean, I love Harry Potter, so I, and I, but I can't stand the movies. I really can't. Like, like, uh, well, three's not too bad, but four to f four to six, I can't stand. There, I think they're crap. Granted, five was was really really weird. Five and six were really off the plot a lot. I mean, granted, those two were just bad movies to begin with. But actually, actually, what am I talking about? Six actually was a lot better than five. I mean, it's still missed a lot of stuff, but granted, the, the Harry Potter books are so big. Anyway, I'm, I'm defending my- I'm not defending my point anymore, am I? <laughs> okay, 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 hold on. Where am I? And that's a warp. It's a desert. Uh, come on, can I get on the board, please? Oh, hold on, one sec, what is this? It's level four. Okay, I think, uh, two is out of the question here, because I don't want to roll that onto that level four. Fuck it, I'll just warp. Fuck, if I warp out of here, then so be it. I don't care. Uh, Oh no 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 level two level one please and level four and level no and voila there we go rolling die and uh, cause a lot of things like um in the Merrick Joey fight oh I made it on the board thank God the question card that that Joey used to trick Merrick into bringing Jinzo back onto the field uh yes yeah, was actually it was actually supposed to tell him not the first monster in the deck. And the card that was not supposed to tell him the first monster in his graveyard, it was the, the last monster in his graveyard, the most recent monster in his graveyard. That's the one you had to guess. Oh, yeah, he made a good roll, yes! And when he... What? Oh, my God. Oh, it was the sound of me hitting my face on my desk. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Here I am talking about Yu-Gi-Oh theory and I'm losing everything. And oh my god, I just can't. <laughs> okay. And when you in Yu-Gi, no, not Yu-Gi. No, fuck Yu-Gi. Well, actually, I love him, but no, that's move on from that point. Oh, this crap on my keyboard. Okay. When Joey drew the Insect Queen card and Merrick's. Oh, I forget the name of the card, but it's it was the leech card that took one card from his hand every turn and put it in his graveyard. And he took the insect queen away. That was supposed to be Jinzo in the manga. In the manga, it took Jinzo, and it put Jinzo on top of his graveyard, so when he played Question, he could say, um, he, he knew what card was there, and he, he knew he used it to his advantage, because he knew what card was on the top of Merrick's graveyard, because Merrick had sacrificed, had sacrificed a card to someone to someone a higher class monster. But Merrick couldn't tell what card had been taken from Joey's hand to put in his graveyard because it was random, right? And you can't see, unless you have a special kind of card or you're a fucking cheater like Esperoba, uh, you can't see what's in the other person's hand, right? So, itching my 
head. Oh, it's my roll now. Hmm. What do I got here? Uh, well. You know, pretty much every, you know, I'm gonna use my superpower now. Because everything I roll now, unless it's a one, will take me to a, a, a battle. So. So I face you. I'll continue my tail in some moment. Let me set up my die. Uh, yep. Oh, yeah, I want to. Now we're rolling. And so, uh, that's that's how he was supposed to draw Jinzo in the manga, right? And, you know, that's how it was. Uh-huh. Do we even need to sing the fads for the opera anymore? In sleep he sang to me, in dreams he came. I fucking love that song. Mirage Knight was summoned. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm probably gonna get screwed out of it now. Like always. What kind of thing is that? In the creep. That's kind of weird. No, I didn't get screwed! Oh, this game has actually started to like me again. Good. That was a level 4 creep card. I'm so fucking lucky. Oh my god. Ah. I mean, it's just little things like that, right? It's, it drives me bonkers. And the Vicer Dex card, which is what it's called in the manga, instead of the whatever it was in the anime, I don't even remember, that was supposed to attach on to Joey's monster, couldn't be killed for three turns, right? That was a vice. It was a it was a machine card. Well, like it was in the, in the anime, but in the in the anime it was supposed to latch onto the head of Joey's monster, and therefore it wasn't there to help with the duel. It was there to cause Joey pain, right? That's why Merrick had it on had it on the on the board for the course of his shadow game. But I can go on about this all day. I mean, he did the same thing to my Valentine in their duel too. What can I say? Yay! Monster summoning successful. Awesome. Okay, 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 okay. Tribute's needed. It's like tribute something good and good. Eh, oh man, what else can I pick? I just don't even know. Like, oh, something that actually bugs the hell out of me of the Death Duel's Kingdom art in the anime is how big the dueling arenas are. And I mean, you know what? I got no problem with the dueling arenas myself. I mean, for the sake of the anime, they're not gonna have the. the it's, no, it's no fun watching characters sit around and. Um, a three by three foot table watching ca characters duel like they do in the manga. That's what they do in the manga. They have little, like uh, you. I'm making a motion with my hands, but you can't see my hands. They have a little box that's in, right? A little virtual reality box and whatever. But when Yugi fights Mokuba, or duels Mokuba, not fights. I don't know why I keep using the term fight for, for dueling. In the beginning of the Duel's Kingdom arc, when Mocha was like, "My brother's all fucked up because of you. I want you eliminated from this tournament because if you're eliminated, this and that, whatever." In the manga, it makes so much more sense when Mokuba steals Yugi's starships that are on the table because he can literally reach over the table and run. With the big dueling arenas in the, in the anime, it just... those things are probably 50 yards apart. There's no way Mokuba could have ran across, yanked Yugi's starships, and ran. Because, I mean, unless he's like... a Flash, and just... or... or Giriko from Soul Eater and teleported over there! And, and stole them. That just doesn't make sense to me. By the way, Giriko from Solider, he can't actually teleport. He just, he kind of teleported behind Maka in the Baba Yaga, attack on Baba Yaga Castle arc in the manga. So I, me and my buds, who are big Solider fans, make jokes about it. So he can't actually teleport. Just want to point it out. I will uh, just do a creep. Level 6. Mmm. No, I'll save this. Uh, you know, fuck it. Uh, uh, actually, I want to star face it. Hold on. You... Ah, no, regular face. I'll uh, star face you. Uh, why do I keep- Ah, damn it! Thank you! And so I'll keep that on for now. One will warp me. Six. No, I'll just do the one six. I don't- I don't- I don't wanna take too many chances. And, yup. Yes. Oh! No, oh, that was it! Man, I gotta start counting my cards really. That's just- that's one of the things that bugs me. Otherwise, you know, it's- it's a good arc. It's- I mean, I love you, Yoda's death. I can't even explain it. The monster is already summoned. Yes, it is! Yup, yup, yup. And attack position. Okay, okay. All right, let's do this. Take a sip of my tea. It's no longer hot. It's just kind of lukewarm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hell yeah, bitches. Fuck yeah. Creep went to the graveyard. Monster summoning was successful, and we move on. I have six points. Krampus, the only one besides me that's under 10, oh my lord. I believe in you, you're... 
Your, your superpower blows! I don't even know why you use it! It sucks! I just, I don't, who thought of that, really? There are like, actually, to be honest, I was gonna say, there are a ton of other things you could've used for Yami Yugi superpower. I can't actually think of one. That makes sense to the series. Off the, off the top of my head, <laughs> without thinking about it. I just, oh man, I don't understand. I mean, I just don't get it. I mean, a lot of these uh, games, like I've, I downloaded Dungeon Dice Monsters for the Game Boy Advance emulator a while, a while ago, and I was playing it, and a lot of characters I've noticed based on these games are based off the original manga and the way they are in the manga. And I'm thinking, could you have taken something from that? Like, give him some kind of evil superpower that he could have, I don't know, like, taken down the enemy's uh, life and attack points through a shadow game or something? Like, he couldn't have done it, come up with something creative rather than, oh, he just rolls a higher chance of rolling the star face on the stunning dice. Like, what? That's completely dumb, and it blows. I mean, at least Yugi's superpower has a better chance of actually working. I mean, Yugi, I keep saying, I mean, Yugi's superpower will let you take over one, one, any monster at random on the field, but it doesn't always work. But that's a lot better than, oh, we're gonna roll my summoning dice, what if, well, we're gonna roll my star base and my summoning dice. I mean, I've, I've played with Yami Yugi in this game enough times to know that, that, that it completely blows. It sucks. I mean, what's, what, sure, it makes it higher rolling on the star face, sure, but I mean, just because you put something on the star face doesn't mean it's gonna roll it. Dear God. Okay, no. Yep, let's do it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna star face you, but I need to get more lower level monsters on the field. Oh, uh, no, I can't play level ones. That's the only problem. Because I'm gonna warp out of here if I do. I got all these level fours, but I gotta get level uh, ones and twos on the field. So if I summon the higher levels, I don't lose as many points if I, uh, if I lose that higher level card. I don't fancy that. Well, let's hope for the best. Uh, yeah, I know, I got a tribute. I know, I know, Grandpa, thank you. Thank you, darling. Thank you, Solomon. Suguroku, whatever your name is. Well, in the manga, his name is Suguroku, and in the anime, his name is Solomon. That actually, it works for animes like Yu-Gi-Oh! Sorry to drink. Where all the names are kind of funny. Well, they're not funny, they're, but they're different. And, um, but, and that kind of bugs me about four kids, how they change the names of some of the, ja of, of some of the Japanese names in the animes they do. Like, they did that in Shaman King, too. Like, I haven't actually watched the Shaman King, uh, the English anime. I have... Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. I did try once, but I actually could not get past or get through the first ten minutes of this episode. <laughs> and it's just, like, they changed a ton of the names. And, I mean, with, with Yu-Gi-Oh!, I, I think it fits. I mean, with, with, instead, with Joey Wheeler instead of Katsuya Junochi, and Tristan Taylor instead of, um, Haruto Honda. And Taya Gardner instead of An Anzu, I forget her last name, sorry. But, I mean, that works. Right? What the hell was I just arguing? Oh my god. I actually don't rem- Oh, no, so, oh, sorry, never mind. I was just- It's just, it bugs me how four kids feel that they have to change the names, you know? But, you know, four kids isn't dubbing anime anymore, so I suppose they should be grateful. I didn't think they're doing anything anymore, but whatever, no big. But, you know, it's just how it is. I mean, like, like I said, it works for a show like like Yu-Gi-Oh, where, the, where the, the Japanese names are kind of intricate. What the hell is that? This random- Oh, it's my sister's camera! Sorry, it was this USB sitting next to my, my uh, computer, I didn't know what it was. It's my sister's camera. And, um... But yeah, I mean, I don't have a negative argument to say here. But I mean, I've watched so- Well, I've okay, so many animes, quotation, quotation. I've watched like ten in my lifetime. Which is pale in comparison. Sorry. To my best friend, who's watched like a bajillion. And it's regardless of how much good the names are, they always keep them the same. Like, oh, can I think of an example here? I can't. Like, okay, well, there's Durabur, I suppose. It's like Hikaru Rivamine and Muscle Nikita. Like, those are some in some interesting Japanese names. Like Izaya Orihara. Like, they, like Aniplex or Funimation, whoever the fuck doubted it, I believe it was Aniplex, didn't didn't change the names. They kept them the way they are. Right. I mean, they could have named Mikado Mike for all I care, right? right? I mean, for all I care, what I'm talking about, like, they could have named Mikado Mike and, like, Kita or Masaomi, like, I don't know. Like, I can't think of a name because I love their names the way they are. I mean, I like how they're the original Japanese names. I mean, there's even Bleach that was done, like, Ichigo Kurosaki, I and mean, they could have changed his name. They could have changed, like, and so many, so many intricate names of Bleach, like Genusai Yamamoto and Yumichika Aisugawa and all this stuff. I mean, there's so many interesting names in Bleach, and they're all the same. 
Because that's just how they are. And now I'm not coming down on the on the Yu-Gi-Oh! English anime for having Americanized names. It really works for Yu-Gi-Oh! But it's just... I see no problem with leaving the names how they are, you know? Yes, we'll play the level 1, and we'll play the level 4. I don't have any level 3, so I don't gotta worry about uh, hitting the special space there. Uh, I'll leave the level 6 for now, because the only other some tribute card I have is level 4. So I want to leave that on the field. And I probably should have played my other level 1 in there, but eh, uh, it's okay. It's just my faith. There we go, boys. Man, what else can I bitch you about about anime? <laughs> I don't even know. Actually, uh, I haven't watched the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime since the, um... Uh, it w hmm. Ah, oh, why not? Since it went into the uh, Joey Kaiba duel for third place, and uh, I, I didn't even start that duel, but you know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna deal with this bullshit. I was getting so pissed off. Thank you. And so, since I already know how the arc ends, whenever I actually get yay, whenever I actually get back to the Yu-Gi-Oh anime, I'm just gonna skip straight to the next arc. Just filler, I know. And I know the last Yu-Gi-Oh filler really pissed me off. Filler usually does. That's why I don't watch Bleach, actually. That's why I only read the manga, because it's so much filler. Oh my god. But, um, actually, I am looking forward to this filler arc. A, a couple of months ago, I was at me and my two best friends, well, two of my three best friends, were at my house, or not my house. Okay, let's, let's put it this way. Until a few, until a week ago, my third best friend lived in on the coast. So it was me and my two best friends that lived here locally. We were at um, my friend Leonie's house, and um, we were, we said, okay, we're gonna get up and watch early morning Saturday cartoons, right? Thinking like we're gonna watch Scooby Doo, but Scooby Doo was not. So we watched some episodes of Yu Gi Oh instead, and it was uh, some some episodes near the end of this next arc, and I got really interested. I'm like, oh, I don't know what's going on. I don't understand. Who is this kid? Why is he fighting? Like this dude's his brother apparently. Like what's going on? This and that. I'm like I want to know. I really want to know. And then um, I got pretty much forced, even though I would have done it anyway, into watching Merrick's Evil Council by Little Karibo. <laughs> And the stuff with, uh, darts and them. And I'm like, oh, that's, a uh, that guy's from season four. I mean, I gotta check this shit out. <laughs> and I'm actually really psyched to watch this, uh, this filler arc. I mean, it's probably gonna be total bullshit. And according to my, my, uh, my buddy, who has watched the beginning of it, it's got, uh, someone steals the god cards, and that's what they're kind of hunting for, is the god cards, and that, that that's probably gonna piss me off. Because in the first volume of, Millenn of Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium, Someone tries to steal the god cards, and Yugi goes and hunts them down, and then they end up getting, like, stabbed in the face. Stabbed in the jugular by Bakura. So, you know, you know, just gonna see, you gonna find out what happened there. But. Oh, uh, Neo the Magic Swordsman. I'm gonna, not on my level 2s, cause they'll, you know, whatever. I'm gonna play my level 1s first. Just to make sure they're on the dice before I just go rambling on. Level 4, level 4, yeah, I'll play level 4. Level 2. Now nah, I'm good with 6,000 life points, I don't mind there. Level, no, no, level 4, there we go. And I think I will play you. And I think that's all the cards I have. Yep, there we go. And I just so that will probably bug me, but hey, you know what? They gotta be they gotta be creative, I suppose. I mean, have you seen the bleach filler? Creative shit. Oh, I didn't even fuck. I didn't even notice. What's some? That was some nasty skill right there. I love it. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm in third now. I'm beating Grandpa. Ha ha. Aww, you did that to Bakura, you bully. Man, why do I love Bakura so much? He's the antagonist. He's, okay, he's an antagonist. Actually, well, technically, he's the main antagonist of the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Spoiler, spoiler, hashtag. But, <laughs> and Yu-Gi's the protagonist, and I'm like, oh, come on, don't do that to Bakura, he's my baby. I love Bakura so much. <laughs> Not a kitty. It was the second time I've made that reference to this set. But, whatever. That's all good. And I'm gonna scribble something down on my desk here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There we go. Sorry, um, my desk, when I have notes to think of, I don't grab paper, I just write them down on my desk. That's how I do shit. <laughs> and Aiden Duffy has just signed into Facebook. I don't know if you can see that far, but you can see my Windows Messenger pop up. Because I am actually still signed into MSN. I should probably change that. But you know what? I'm lazy. And there's no one online anyway, except apparently Aiden Duffy, but him and I don't talk too much. He lives in the UK. Okay. Aw, oh, you're stealing our life coins, bastard. No. Oh. oh, it's like I'm I'm so burning for life points, guys. I mean, I just... Oh, fuck. I need them so don't take my life points. Girl. And the turn. Here we go. Okay, level ones are priority. Oh, hello again. Okay. Uh, regular phase. Uh-huh. 